does everybody think of this game? It was fun. It was a blast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I liked it. Yeah, it's a, it, I, it feels like a fun little gimmick for a quick. Yeah. yeah. Shot role play. It was a I little. Lots of laughs. Absolutely, yeah. lots yeah. of laughs. It was a slightly more unstructured version of of the fiasco one, yeah, that we yeah. played the other, which yeah. I think is good because the fiasco has a lot. It like requires prep time and like let's all yeah. make relationships and stuff. Like, this is a lot more just like, more like it's more yeah. like a four hour yeah. affair, yeah, yeah. and right. this is this yeah. is definitely a, a quick one. Like we we played it in a a little over an hour. Yeah, uh, it, it's it's billed as a thirty minute game, but. Uh, we, but we talk a we lot. Milked yeah, we it. talk a lot. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, and it's and it's it feels like very free form with these like these cards are pretty basic. You They're pretty it, open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, can, yeah. you can do whatever you want with it. So, uh, yeah, I had fun. Yeah. I I don't know if I would play this multiple times in a night, but I bust it out <laughs> for a one shot. Like, like if we're not in the mood for. Heavy role play, right? Something a little more elaborate. This yeah. is a good. Mm -hmm. I would be curious to see which which cards were the expansion. Like what? Uh, like yeah. like yeah. Because I could definitely see how this could get like focused in on stuff. Kind of like what, right. like we were talking about with the the other role play game we did. It's like this absolutely could like have the like you know classic heist style Bond style like yeah. expansions. Yeah. Right. Do them. Mega casino. That'd be fun. There are mega there, casino. The six cards we didn't see were close combat, technician. Gunplay, nice surveillance, hacking, and genius. Mm. Uh, that would have been fun. Cool. Oh, yeah. Headquarters. Okay. And yeah, I just I just pulled a random six cards out right. of the deck. It also the the rule sheet also alludes to other game modes where you can use more or less cards mm. to to make the game take longer or, or happen faster mm. or whatever. Those game modes are not actually in this draft of the rule sheet, but I'm sure they will be. Uh, I and I, I I really wish I understood what it said about stacking the deck because I I do feel like Act Five should be shorter than the rest rather than the longest. I I think I may have done things in reverse order or something. That's I don't fine. Know. We we all understand yeah. story structure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like it did play out really well. It did. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially because weirdly enough, it did land that all of your cards were in Act Five. Yeah. So yeah, like yeah. Yeah, you had been delaying was, up until the moment yeah, to yeah. be a hero. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, like I was thinking, I was like, if Deep Cover is like the last card, I was like, am I the bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> like I was like, what? What's cut? Like when's that yeah. coming? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I like the I like the final card being like you, you do the whole the whole yeah. movie and then it all comes down to that last card on whether or not what kind yeah. of ending yeah, you yeah. Get how does how does yeah. it end because everything else is just like it could it's a 50 50 shot yeah. when that card's gonna come up yeah but the last card is where it all mm. it, it's all determined mm -hmm. and that's fun. I feel I was like also very glad that I had at least one card that wasn't a failure. Yeah, right? yeah everything Please let me do one off thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong, though. I'm very good at, at uh, figuring out ways I can mess things up. <laughs> <laughs> ways to succeed is a little trickier, but... <laughs> The failing forward failing, is still. Failing is it's very easy for me to imagine myself failing. <laughs> it was surprisingly difficult in Act One to keep things all according to plan. Yeah, we kept on wanting to throw a wrench yeah. into things. Yeah, <laughs> I really liked the the I'm Mr. Phoenix. Yeah, the surprise yeah. twist. Yeah. Yeah. What a great oh, twist to have in that yeah. first <laughs> act of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> What I would, what I would love to see, what I think, like if I was to add something to it, yeah, there would be maybe some kind of card that required like a reshuffling or taking some of the cards that were out and putting them back in, just to get that movie like it all comes back around yeah, thing in yeah, there. Yeah. You know, something that's like, hey, everyone puts one of their cards back in the deck, you reshuffle. You know, mm -hmm. you suddenly remove two of the cards from one of the sections. Just something to keep that spice going with. Yeah, it. yeah. But I think a little bit I'm, more unpredictability. Yeah. But I mean, like as an improv game, it sorted it out. I mean, I feel like yeah. it was a good icebreaker. I know you all, you right? know, pretty yeah. well now. Yeah. <laughs> I also, I do feel like uh, there's there's a risk of card counting with it, mm. where yeah. where you can like you get like you can keep track on like I haven't seen my this card come up yet. I, I so, didn't feel like I was doing that. I right? Was like, yeah. like, I was like, I was like, I'm. 
Like, so am I the guy who which maybe this together? Yeah, which maybe helps you inform your decisions. Yeah. Maybe that's not a bad thing. Yeah. But it could be like you could be keeping track of like, oh, my card might be the last card, and this is how the whole thing could end. Like before we, you know, when we're early mm -hmm. act, when we're middle act four or something, you're you're already the wheels are already turning on how things can end. Mm -hmm. And which I don't is, know if maybe that's a no, good thing or a bad thing. I think that that's that's a perfectly legitimate thing to do in improv. Yeah, You've done yeah. enough of it. Yeah, fair thinking, point. Thinking about how you're gonna finish a, an improv show in the middle of an improv show is not a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> This was fun. Yeah, this was a lot of it fun. It really was, yeah. Thank you so much, Tin Star Games, for yeah. uh, for asking yeah. us to, to play this and, and, and giving us the, the materials. Hey, thanks for hanging out. If you want to spend more time with us, do us a favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and most importantly, head on over to twitch.tv slash bnbtabletop and give us a follow there. We play board games live every Sunday night at 5 p.m. Pacific time on a show we call The Board and Barrel. And we like to keep things interactive. You guys can influence what happens throughout the course of a game with our buff and nerf house rules. You can also make predictions on how things are going to pan out, play virtual bingo for a chance to win a free board game of your own, and heckle us and stuff from the chat. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you Sunday night.